So if you're looking for the best glue for gluing cloth to wood, I'd recommend this. It's called Mod Podge. Sometimes people call it hodgepodge because they don't look at it, but it's called Mod Podge. It's a uh, water-based sealer glue and finish. Uh, basically, it's like a glue that you've used, almost like an Elmer's glue, but it has a very high water content in it. And it's really good at bonding cloth to wood, which is a pretty popular problem people have, and they don't know what type of glue to use. This one is, I uh, definitely recommend it. And I'll do a quick demo here about gluing uh, gluing a piece of cloth to some wood, just some scrap cloth and some scrap wood, but this will work in a lot of different applications. Like I said, this is a, a non-toxic glue. It has a, a lot of water in it and easy to find, relatively affordable, comes in this big eight ounce bottle, but it comes in a bunch of different sizes. There's a few different variations. This is kind of the most common one. It says gloss on it, but there's a bunch of different types and you know some are a little bit more glossy or less glossy or have some different variations. For comparison, this is just some whatever glue you might have lying around with some similar qualities. Uh, you know, non-toxic, relatively high amount of water in it. This is an Elmer's washable. This is the clear version. Uh, this has just happened to be what I had lying around. And it might be something you would grab as an alternative. You know, it's not like if you're thinking about gluing cloth to wood, you're going to have some, you know, tight bond or something lying around. And you're going to think that's a good alternative to Mod Podge. Like, you know, those aren't really great comparisons. So I figured the Elmer's would be a good choice and this. So we'll do a demo of uh, the Mod Podge as well as seeing a comparison of the two. And this is, again, just some scrap cloth and then some scrap cedar. The One of the things with the Mod Podge is it comes in a, a tub. You're going to need some sort of applicator. You know, something like the Elmer's, you kind of put on with the nozzle and then you could spread it out with an old credit card or something like that. It's not that easy with the Mod Podge. And then if you're putting it on cloth, then just pouring it on is not going to work. So what they sell are applicator brushes. Can you use a piece of uh, credit card, old piece of plastic or something like that? Sure. Uh, but an applicator brush or one of these foam brushes uh, is a good way to go. So let's kick off this demo here. Clean cloth, dry clean wood no oil on it nothing like that maybe a little dust will wash off there and now we'll open this up there's the mod podge it looks a lot like an elmer's type glue and you can see it pours out pretty quickly made a little mess there off to clean up and this one again very watery so you could paint this one on no problems there it's nice because you could also paint it on the cloth without too many problems. It will, to some extent, get absorbed in the cloth. So you have to be a little bit careful. And sometimes you want to paint it on both surfaces. This is why the applicator is useful. So if you were to pour it on to the cloth, you'll have it too much saturation in one area. And I won't try to do a perfect job with this. We'll just try to get a good... Uh, basically one side of it done and then we will go from there I'm going to apply some pressure on this side I'm going to use the Elmer's glue and this I will put on in true Elmer's glue fashion where you just use the nozzle and you put on too much of it Elmer's glue, as you know, has basically no smell to it. Extremely washable. The hodgepodge, uh, pretty washable as long as you get to it when it's wet. And it uh, has a slight smell, but it's not, uh, you know, it's not that bad. It's not a, uh, a fume or anything terrible. So we'll give this some time to cure. I think they say about 15 to 20 minutes. Find the English directions so you can see them there. Clean up while wet with water, which I'll have to do. Dry 15 to 20 minutes between coats. Sometimes you want to do multiple coats of this one. Okay, so give it some curing time and we'll see where it goes. So it's about 20 minutes later. The glue is, at least according to the instructions, should be dry. And we can see how it is. Uh, so on the left, we here we have the Mod Podge. On the right, we have the Elmer's. Clearly, Elmer's was saturated, so too much was put on 
Uh, the hodgepodge looks a little bit better, but it was put on a little bit heavy. This is also very thin cloth. Again, it's just a scrap that I use for instructive purposes. It wouldn't have gone through a, uh, a felt or something like that. So we'll give it a quick look and we'll see how it is. If it's dry, great. If not, we'll come back in a couple hours. So set, but not dry. It's nice and firm. Definitely not going anywhere, but it's definitely not dry. The Elmer's is still definitely like it's wet. Like I could see it wet. I could feel it on my hands. And when I pull it up, uh, barely any hold there at all. So this is, uh, you know, it's kind of a damp area. So we'll give it uh, another couple hours and we'll see where this is at. Okay, so it's about 12 hours later and I'm looking at the glue to see, again, Mod Podge on the left, the Elmer's on the right in our cloth to wood test. Everything is totally dry, as you'd expect. The Elmer's basically sort of saturated the cloth and it looks quite bad. Uh, you could see that it's uh, much darker and it's gonna stay dark like that. Staying power is uh, pretty good. Not amazing, you know, but it's okay. It's stable, uh, but I could definitely pull it back without too much difficulty here. It's a little harder, so that's good. Anyway, so power is fine, but that saturation sort of ruins it for me. For the Mod Podge, clearly much less saturated. Uh, I put, you know, a little bit too much on with the applicator brush at some sections, so you see that. Part of that is because it's such a thin cloth. You know, if you had, a, again, like a felt or something like that, it wouldn't go through. This is a very thin cloth and the uh, it does darken where there's moisture. It's no longer wet, but it stayed dark. And uh, power is, ooh, it's definitely a stronger hold than the Elmer's. It's, it's really on there where you have more sort of thickness here, like right over there. It's thicker, really, really strong. And that's, wow, it's really on there. Like I, I could pull it off, but having a lot of difficulty doing it like this on camera. So oh, much stronger of a hold and much less saturation, much better. This cloth is a worst case scenario type of thing. And it uh, doesn't even have saturation in a lot of it. So it really did a good job. That is a good example of why Mod Podge is the best glue for cloth to wood applications. You get a lot of strength and uh, it really holds to the cloth well. This is a smooth piece of cedar. It's holding to that really well. And uh, it looks, you know, it won't affect the cloth if you're using the right one and you apply it properly.